friends, it's Lisa back with a new process video for Bella Boulevard. Um, as I said in my previous video, I'm trying to edit all of my videos that I have left because I was pretty um, slow with editing everything and I couldn't get myself to edit the videos. <laughs> so now I want to get everything done and get back on track this year and just put out my videos the, the day that that my assignments are due and um, I will try. <laughs> I cannot promise but I'll, I'll try to to do that. So here is a layout for Bella Boulevard and I'm using the Fala La collection which is new and um, I'm using the cutouts as you could see um, when the video began that I had all of those uh, pouches like those plastic bags with the cutouts so they are pr they are basically um, cut files that are already cut so you can buy them as is and you can just um, um, yeah back the cut files and you don't have to have a silhouette or anything to cut them out so that's very cool uh, you're not bothered with all the cutting <laughs> so um, yeah I'm just backing this cut file the traditional way and I'm using the beautiful colors from the collection and I um, added blue and pink to the traditional colors because um, yeah they were included in the collection and I really think that that yeah I like that better than um, only using the the green and red and yeah the papers are are really really cute and there are a lot of, there are a lot of patterns um, that are a lot <laughs> difficult a lot more difficult to use but uh, um, each backside has uh, it's um, more like the the less cr um, crowded or the less um, um, complicated um, patterns sorry for that long sentence uh, yeah and then I um, just put on foam um, foam tape and I attached it to a velvet um, oh, velvet vellum sheet and I wanted to have the the cut file backed with some kind of like I wanted to have this border around but I didn't want it to be too too um, popping uh, from from the page or uh, yeah yeah just being too visible I um, so that I, I thought that I would use the vellum just to have this um, very um, cute border around and then I tried this background um, but I will not use that I I use the colors from the collection and did this I uh, made this stripe these stripes but I I put the, the cut file on top and I didn't really like it so and then I tried something else and I'm sure you have noticed already that I love using um, or creating uh, circles on my background lately like this uh, bulky style but um, here I am doing more like bigger bigger circles and um, I, I really like that. I will not do that forever, <laughs> I promise, but uh, I just like that at the moment and I think it's it's super cute. So I used my gelatos. I don't know if you know um, or have used gelatos already, but they are, they are very cool to use and I bought a lot of new colors and um, they are very very easy to use you don't really have to put gesso on your page first uh, when you when you're using them with uh, a wet baby wipe for example it's very easy to just use them with the with the baby wipe wipe and then um, not using gesso before and that's very great very cool if you're if you want to do a quick background or 
yeah, not be bothered with uh, putting putting the gesso on first. So I, as you could see, I put uh, the dots or circles with my baby wipe and then I used some gesso and put the gesso on top um, just to make them a little bit more or less, less vibrant and then I'm coming back with my white um, uh, oh god <laughs> my white white um, gelato oh sorry and just um, putting some white on top and yeah I, I, I like how, how that looks in the background and coming up with <laughs> the white splatters of course so I thought that the cut file would uh, look very good on top of that uh, and then I uh, went to the photo that I placed on a white sheet of paper just to have a white border and then I came in with the pattern papers that I had already used for the cut file. I ripped them in uh, rectangles and yeah. I, I like to do that because then you have the distressed borders uh, already and you don't have to to do them with your uh, scissors or your little distress tool. So yeah, that's very cool. And yeah, just putting the paper around the photo and I really like to do that and I've been doing this technique for like I think from the beginning and I still really like to do that. Um, for backing photos or matting photos. Yeah, so I'm just checking um, where I want my things to go and this photo I took, um, was it Christmas? Eve or something like that I don't know and my sister um, had made me uh, those cute earrings pom-pom earrings and so I, I took a picture with them and yeah the the, um, the cutout um, the cutouts that I used here from Bella Boulevard uh, also had these uh, mistletoe pieces included and so I backed them too I wanted to use them too but as you can see what I really love to do also is not backing them um, st straight I would say it so that the, the paper peeks out from the from the sides and you have uh, little holes um, in the cut file like the, the, the pieces uh, you have those little holes because the the paper do doesn't really uh, it, it's not exactly placed uh, in the right position so you have like little holes and you have pieces peeking out from the side so it's it's not perfect and I really like that that little touch that it gives uh, so I placed the mistletoe and then I went to my stickers and used some scalloped borders because I love using scalloped borders and then I yeah, I, I attached everything uh, using my foam squares. <clears throat> and these puffy stickers, these alpha stickers are the Aria uh, alphabet puffy stickers and I have them in every color and they are so cool the font I love the font I love the size I love uh, the colors um, and like you can add those to really every layout that you make and it will look very cool so if you don't have those get those because they are amazing then to embellish even more I went through to through my um, ephemera pieces I had I immediately immediately knew that I wanted to use this cute reindeer head and um, I also put these two Santas which I really love and what else I'm using the 
the acrylic trees here are I think they are acrylic or are they yeah yeah they are acrylic and I love the acrylic pieces from Bella Boulevard they are so cute so I used three of the trees and then I used I wanted to use this little these little um, red dots but I took them off I didn't like it I used some stars uh, yeah and that I I, I, I really like um, better Then I came in with some thread and I put some red thread behind reindeer and you won't see it but you will see it here in the end result that I put some pink thread behind the Santa. Thank you so much for watching. See you very soon. Bye bye.